Radiator. Enemies hit lose 75% of their health over time. Option paralysis. Okay, both of those... Sound kind of great. Main problem is I don't think the radiator is actually going to do me uh, do a good job. At least not for what I'm doing. That's also a very slow irradiation. the greatest. Well, I get the pacifist bonus. We go for the sniper. More lightning bo bounces are kind of tempting, but I'll get the sniper. Explosive. AoE. Interesting. I'm just gonna have the sniper. Do I want freezer? Yeah. Wow. All of these are kind of great. Let's go for this. Okay. This setup ain't working. That'll have to do. Hopefully the sniper will be able to protect me. Okay. Okay. Go for sniper range and freezer slow duration. Okay. Oh, let's see. Repeater. I'm really curious about the repeater. How it works. Because that it, does that only count for the round? Or does it count for just all kills forever? Because I'm not sure on that one. Okay, repeater counts for your entire run. Good to know. Bounce damage modifier. So I can actually get that to do even more damage if I wanted to do it. It's more tempting to actually go for sniper range for a little while. Tinkerer. Yeah, we'll go core modules. Okay, could go for the hammer. Could go auto shields. I'm gonna go kind of all in on a little bit of range. Yeah, it's tempting to pick up the repeater. We need more walls, though. Badly. The other problem is the sniper is effectively going to just take everything and leave nothing. That's not the end of the world, but there's a limited amount. Yeah, going for the repeater is not a good idea. Okay. Keep cool. Quicken. I mean, a lot of these would be nice, but let's go reach and lightning speed. Lightning speed's actually huge. But going going heavy on the sniper seems like a absolutely lovely idea. I really want to get the wall upgrade that makes it so I get more walls. Uh, let's see. Extra wall when you skip reward? Sure. Let's go with that. Because I don't really want the hammer this time. Yeah, sniper is good until Zerg Rush. That's why I... I sniper and lightning seems like a good, good combo together. Okay. 
low health. Let's see, refine. 4% damage bonus for towers and abilities. Freezer range. I don't think we need... Yeah, let's go freezer range. Okay, roll the dice lets me re-roll anything. I don't know if we need more sniper range, so let's, let's go with re-roll. Melter? No. Quicken? Maybe. Or do we start going walls? Let's go Quicken. It's not huge. But my goal is to some degree just make these two fire often, constantly. Uh, let's re-roll. Sniper speed. Tower Sunbeam. That's really tempting. I'm gonna grab it. I can't make much immediate use out of it. Because I think the sniper is just going to effectively render it negligible. Uh, let's see. Because, yeah, between the Chain Lightning and some of the other stuff, it should be okay. Uh, let's see, Repeater Damage. Auto Shield, Sniper, Range, Wall. I'm just going to grab a couple of those. I have zero amazing, but I do have a lot of dang bitch. Uh, let's see. Lightning damage? Sure. It's working. These guys are a little spooky. Got it, though. Alright, masonry. Which is what I was looking for. So now I can start picking some walls and actually get good mazing as opposed to gravage mazing. All right, boom blaster, disruptor. Reroll this, see if I get anything fancy. I do have nanobots, but let's go wall. And let's go wall. All right. Is this more efficient now? I have no idea. But at least I can put the sunbeam somewhere where it's not garbage. Same thing with the repeater. The lightning there. And we want to have the sniper generally as far away from things as we possibly can get it. Uh, that should be better. Alright. That's better. Less is more. Higher chance of rares is is tempting. Uh let's reroll though. Uh, let's see, sunbeam damage increase. I mean it's it's good. Melter repeater damage disruptor healer. I guess I'll just do repeater damage. It's not huge. Probably should have gone for walls. Would like some more lightning range. Well, there we go. Uh, let's see. Frenzy, freezer range. Let's just go... Let's go walls. Because I want them to kind of loop back and forth a couple of times here. We'll, we'll reorganize accordingly. I just want to make sure they're going past the lightning and everything else.
Okay, next up. Actually gonna move the repeater up there. Hopefully it gets some more kills. Because it actually seems like it's a pretty good tower that I'm just not using. On the basic side. But great for cleanup. Uh, let's see. Ra radiator intensity. Ooh. Freezer slow amount. I gotta go for the freezer slow amount. No matter what. And I'm gonna reroll these. Less is more is kind of tempting. But I'm not sure if I want that yet. Okay. Refine is just bonus damage. It's tempting, but let's actually go freezer range. Keep that going. Keep the lightning rolling. Okay, so we've made it a fair bit further than last time. Okay. I don't want to do ion cannons. Hardened core, no. Auto shields, we don't need. I just want the freezer to lock them down. I'm hoping I can get the, uh... Those, those guys are rough. Uh, let's see. Maybe... Freezer range, tempting. Wall, also tempting. Radiator intensity, intensity would be neat. Let's... Go for some of these. So... Main problem is I can't make them loop. There. Unless, of course... We change pace. So this way they have to take, take a fairly long way around. I gotta move... Frost out here. That keeps it pretty good. Peter there, Sunray there. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put that there. It, uh, here. Okay. Nanobots? We gotta do nanobots. We need... we need a smidge of healing. Uh... Oops. I'll just do that there. Those bouncy things are mean. Let's see, let's re-roll this. Get more wall, I guess. Okay, I can get rid of that for a little bit more of this. So let's do... Ice here, lightning there. Bounce Sunray. I'm gonna put this in the smack dab in the center. Not necessarily because I want to, but it's not hitting the other side, which is actually screwing me over kind of bad. Ugh, how did I not lose there? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab the healer. It's not great.
But I don't have anything better. Okay. Let's just do that. Now, unfortunately, a lot of these guys are just getting real tanky, and I'm having trouble getting past it. Maybe if I had beefed the, uh, the repeater tower much, much earlier. Next run we do. Ooh. I didn't realize how much damage we've taken. Next run we do, maybe what I will do is just go heavy repeater tower and see what it does. Now let's keep going walls for a bit. Radiator intensity. Yeah, the biggest issue is... We're not really getting them to maze back and forth. This map could be... better if it was larger. I'm really curious how fast of a tick down on the radiator. that is. Because that's my biggest immediate fear. Reroll this. Freezer slow amount. That's what we're looking for. I'm going to move the freezer in a smidge. And move that there, hopefully, so I can net some more kills. Actually, with the sniper here, there. Okay. That should be better. We're slowly recovering. We're actually doing enough damage. Uh, let's see. Sniper damage, sniper damage. And repeater damage? Yeah. Let's actually make it decent. Okay, now that degradation is actually really stealing the show. Let's see, some sunbeam sun damage is probably not going to hurt. True, but I haven't really prioritized it comparatively, so it's a lower priority for me. Compared to some. I think this is where I lose anyway. I just can't get through those shields. I'm not actually sure how I'm supposed to get through those, shi get through those shields. All right, whatever. Well, I haven't tried the sunbeam yet. Let's try the sunbeam. Let's see. This should be... This should work. <laughs> Alright! Here we go! All in! Go for reach. Go for sunbeam damage. Well, it's getting the damage. Yeah, so I think I'd still want lightning and maybe like one or two other ones, but... When in doubt, just become tacky.
Uh, let's see. I'm gonna get the repeater tower. As an assist. Okay, now you gotta kill the lower health ones. If we can get it. Ability stun? Nah. Okay. Just kind of focus both of these. Frickin' sure. Well, it's certainly working. At least currently, we're only we're only at the very beginning, so it's not super helpful. Uh, let's see, quicken na nanobots. Yeah, let's go for the nanobots, and uh, let's go for repeater damage. Let's see, disruptor for the shielded foes later on. Disruptor does not actually take out shields. Uh, disruptor inhibits their actions, which is, as far as I can tell, not actually that useful. Okay, I gotta go for masonry. Be nice if I could get multiple. Ooh, that was fast. Hmm. Oh, that's a good point. Prevents them from generating shields. Oh. You know what? You might be right there. Okay, yeah, we'll get a Disruptor this time around. I was skipping it because I, I was just assuming it would stop their attacks. I liked the Radiator. It was pretty good. I'm gonna keep working on this one. Is this game on Steam? Yup, it's like 10 bucks. Wow, okay, that does a lot of damage. There we go. I'm just gonna go somewhat bland here. Let's see. I'm gonna kinda go all in on this repeater. Let's just attack actions per second. Yeah, so it, it does get faster. These are all really boring. I guess we'll get some extra walls. And treasure hunter. Oh. Oh. I have to... I have to do this? Alright. But yeah, so far do I think this is worth it? As an avid tower defense fan, yes. I don't see a whole lot of tower defenses that do this kind of game. Uh, somewhat roguelike gameplay. And so it actually really helps the repetition. It seems like the difficulty curve might be a little brutal. Let's see. I guess I'll grab take a break just because. Keep cool. Nah, repeater, repeater damage. I heard of the better when it comes to tower defense. Yeah, I would still like to be able to beat a run. That's that's my one mild. Oh, there's the disruptor. Let's see, does the meta progression give bonuses or just unlocks? Currently, just unlocks. Okay. Better. Nanobots, less is more. Good nanobots. And repeater damage, whoops. I wanted to look at its stats, but I can't do that until we actually get into the fight. 
And what I really want to do is start a run with the repeater. Because I feel like that could be incredibly strong. Okay, there we go. I want the shield generator. I guess I'll keep doing walls. And repeater damage. Should probably move some of the, these things around at some point, too. Is there a reason to skip a reward? Yes, you can only have, uh... Six, seven, seven modules uh, on your lower tableau. And so if you don't want any of these things, it's better to skip or like pick walls. Yeah, their sunbeam does a ton of damage though. So I will keep kind of investing into that. Yeah, I don't want it I don't want any other towers. The slow tower would be the next one that I want to grab, but I haven't seen it go by yet. And yeah, that that sunbeam really does seem to be the solution to most things getting by keep taking it off because I want to check its stats. No, you need to be right there. Yep, no more shield pulses for them. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Fifteen upgrades purely on this thing's damage. Unfortunately, it's not particularly deadly. Maybe a melter would have actually been a good idea. Gosh, I guess I'm gonna go for that. We're not getting the greatest. I want to give the thing that get the thing that gives me more. More range or more options. You know what? I'm gonna grab... I'm gonna grab a Melter. Let's see. Go for the Melter speed. The only problem is the Melter is now going to start generating its own extra upgrades, which I don't need as much. Well, it's okay. It seems like the disruptor is the good, is the good stuff, and is exactly what I need. But yeah, less, less is more is actually screwing me over pretty bad. Let's see. Go disruptor range, melter speed. I think I gotta go random. It needs to spread the uh, the damage reduction. I guess I'll get frenzy. There we go. Kind of working. Less is more is supposed to give me like a uh, a boost. It hasn't. Option paralysis. Okay, there we go. I needed that that to come back. Let's grab keep cool. Because now I'm actually going to be using a ability here. Let's 
still want to increase the range on these things, but I don't think there's any specific options for them. Uh, let's keep going repeater damage here. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to say this again. I think less is more is an absolute, uh, absolute scam. Peter's seems to be doing work, though. Extra speed, extra duration. Longer it lasts, the better. Let's see. Thought less is more gives you more of the rare options. Yeah, but the downside, in my opinion, doesn't really strike me as worth it. Okay, let's keep doing disruptor range and repeater damage. Because getting this repeater to do, like, a ton of damage every round seems super worthwhile. Okay. Let's keep going quicken. And... Frenzy speed. We don't need melter damage. Roll the dice is real tempting, so we get more useful things. Frenzy speed. I'm gonna go roll the dice. I think this is the farthest I've made it, actually. Much simpler build. This time around. Let Less truly is mildly more. There it is. I was wondering whether that was going to show up. Okay. So now we got the two wishlist towers that we were going for. I would like to give the speed tower... Uh, let's just reroll these. I still grab a second roll of the dice, not that it's terribly helpful. Keep doing frenzy duration. It'd be lovely if I could get Fren frenzy's duration to be like stupid long. There we go. Ultra speed. Keep going to the repeater damage. There we go. Freezer, slow amount. Yes. A poor disruptor. How dare you! Or Radiator, not Disruptor. Uh, let's keep going on the range on that. Melter Armor Reduction. Yes! I'm really curious if you can put him in the negative. Keep slowing him down. Keep upping that Disruptor range. Because, yeah, what I want this to do is keep them locked down for as long as possible. I don't know. I assume it has like a a baseline limitation that after a certain point it'll stop. Radiator intensity, yes, freezer slow amount. Oh my gosh. We're just going to stop them in their tracks. No armor for you. Man, those big bombs ain't they ain't much. Ah, oh, radiator intensity or frenzy duration. I'm gonna keep going on the frenzy duration. This is the debuff run. Yeah it is. Wow. Look at them just slow down. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go freezer range. Frenzy speed. Maybe I should have gone for radiator intensity. I just noticed they're about to wreck my melter. Which means we might want to consider getting some kind of healing ability.
Okay. Not great. Okay. Fancy duration. We don't need to roll the dice. I think this will do. How strong are you at this point? It's decent. It doesn't get quite as much speed as I was looking for, but it's decent. Uh, let's see, frenzy speed, sure. Last wave. So let's see how this goes. Got him! Beat the game without healing towers or abilities. Ah! Oh. Boy. Cool. 